Hey, what's up everybody? This is Brian Boyle from Brian Boyle Music and the Producers Forum, back again with yet another Pro Tools 8 tutorial. So in the previous video, we went over how to use the slip, shuffle, spot, and grid functions. Now we're going to be moving on to the zoom function. Uh, it might not sound like an important topic, but it can really save you a lot of time in the long run, especially if you know how to use the zoom tool efficiently and effectively. More specifically, we'll be looking at the zoom button, uh, the zoom presets, the zoom tool itself, how to zoom in vertically on a track, uh, and also how to change the track height. And we'll also be going over shortcuts for almost all of those things. Alright, so I've got Pro Tools open here and I'm looking at my edit window. And up by your slip, shuffle spot, and grid controls are your most basic zoom controls. Uh, this is zoom in, and this is zoom out. Zoom out expands the timeline, zoom in compresses the timeline. But do you want to be pressing those buttons every single time? Probably not. So the shortcut for that is holding down Command or Control if you're on a Windows and pressing the open bracket or close back bracket, which are right next to the P on your keyboard. So that's zoom out and this is zoom in. So that's the faster way to use the zoom button. Um, another way to zoom effectively and quickly are your zoom presets. Uh, your zoom presets can be found right underneath uh, your zoom buttons. That's these buttons here. You'll see one is the furthest zoom out. Uh, and as, as you go down the line, they zoom in progressively more and more. So I'll click somewhere here in the middle of my timeline. And I'll hit one. Oh, we're already at one. Two zooms in a little further. Three. A little further four, even further, and five to the furthest. And if I hold down command and click on the four, you'll see it blink. That means I set that zoom memory to where we're zoomed in right now. So if I go down the line this time, see zoom one goes out the furthest, zoom two a little further, zoom three a little further, and I change zoom four so it's going to zoom back out, and then zoom five is all the way in. So that's the way you can set your zoom presets, but maybe you don't want to be going up to be clicking them every single time so the way you use your zoom presets without using the mouse or using some shortcuts is by holding down control and pressing the zoom number that you want so say we want to zoom in to one I'm gonna hold down control and press one and it'll zoom me all the way out to zoom preset one I'm gonna hold down control and press three two five you get the idea so that's how you use your zoom presets so the next thing we're going to be looking at is the zoom tool. Uh, the zoom tool is located right next to your trimmer. I'm going to go up here and click it. Or if you want, you can do the shortcut, which is Command-1. That'll switch to your zoom. And what the zoom tool does is it basically fills the screen with your selection. So if you look here, you can click and zoom in once. Or you can hold down the left click, and you can actually highlight a particular section that you want to fill the screen with and when I let go it's going to fill the screen with just that part that I've selected. So you can see it zoomed in considerably. If I just do this, it'll just zoom in on that. So let's zoom out. I'm going to hit control 1. It does my zoom preset. And I know if most of you guys are familiar with Pro Tools, you're probably not working with each of these tools individually up here. You're probably working with the Smart Tool. So a good way to zoom is to switch back and forth between your Smart Tool and your Zoom Tool. Uh, I do that with Command-1 to switch to Zoom and Command-7 to switch back to the Smart Tool. Alright, so moving on to Track Height. Let's say I want to look at this Lead Bass Synthesizer here. I'm going to click on it. It's a little bit small. I want to see a little more detail in the waveform. So I can go over here to where, right next to the track name and click on this ruler. Right now it's set to small, so just for effect I'm going to set it to Jumbo so you can see. Uh, that changes the track height itself. Now, say you wanted to look at the detail on every single one of the tracks, but you didn't want to go into every single one and keep clicking Jumbo, Jumbo, and then you miss one or whatever. You can hold down Alt and you can select Jumbo, and it'll change all the tracks to Jumbo. Or you can hold down Alt and select Small, and it'll change all your tracks to Small. 
Holding Alt is the All modifier for your track heights. All right, so I'm going to go back and I'm going to change this lead base synth to uh, large. I'm going to zoom in with my preset. And the last thing we'll be looking at today is the vertical zoom. The vertical zoom is located right next to zoom out. And it's this button here. And it'll change the size of your waveform. Uh, so it makes the peaks and valleys a little bit more distinct. It doesn't actually change the volume of the audio. It just makes it look a little bit more, more distinct and clear. So I'm going to click this and you can see what happens. You can see the size of the waveforms actually went up. It makes the valleys, uh, peaks and valleys between the waveforms start and stops a little bit more distinct. This just helps so you can see your audio a little bit more clearly. But say you get out of control and you keep hitting it a million times and you don't know how to get back. Uh, you can keep going down, but maybe you weren't sure exactly where it was. So the way to reset that default is by holding Command, Option, Control, and hitting the open bracket all at the same time. So let's make this all crazy. I'm going to hold Command, Option, Control, and open bracket. And that resets everything back to normal. Alright, so that's it for Zoom Controls. Uh, it was a lot of information, a lot of shortcuts. Uh, I hope that you guys found this helpful, and uh, you'll be zooming a little bit more efficiently from here on out. Uh, if you like this video at all, please follow me on Twitter at Brian Boyle Music to stay up to date on all my latest Pro Tools video tutorials. Uh, and you can also check out my website, brianboylemusic.wordpress.com, to stay up to date on new production tips and hot new artists to watch out for. That's it for this video, and thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.